And good afternoon, and welcome to our fourth afternoon show. It's a little after 4.30 p.m. on July 23rd, and we appreciate you checking us out this afternoon and checking in with us. Uh, we do appreciate it. Letting everyone know the same thing we let them know this morning. We decided uh, for the cat's name to be Livingston Muse, <laughs> after the Livingston Parish News, I suppose. Uh, very clever. It was a good name. Uh, so his name is Livingston. Livy for short, for some of you who, who threw that one out there. So thank you, everybody, for participating. We appreciate it. And we now have a mousing cat. And, uh, well, he still needs a little hand here and there. But he is here. And, uh, again, we appreciate the community's participation in our voting process. Again, uh, my name is McHugh David, publisher and editor of the news. Appreciate you joining us this afternoon. We're on social media. You might be watching us on Facebook right now. If you listen to us later, of course, you might be catching us online, www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash podcast. We are free there. Uh, we put out video and audio on that site. We're also pushing it out to all the podcast places via Anchor FM. Still haven't heard back from uh, the Apple podcast, so we're still working on that process. But we're on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube. Uh, we appreciate you checking us out in those places, seeing all the good content that our guys from the uh, editorial department are pushing out. They're doing a great job over there. Weather, gross. <laughs> it's nasty outside today as that low uh, cold front comes through, uh, hits that warm weather. We've been getting all, uh, rain on and off today, and we will have cooler temperatures overnight. Uh, it's going to be 68 degrees somewhere around midnight and stay cool throughout the evening and it's actually going to be a little cooler in the eight, high 80s through Friday and in the upper 60s and low 70s through Monday but it does get uh, it does get a little hotter uh, as it goes along again light rain occurring at the moment traffic heavy sort of reflective of the weather this afternoon uh, delays backing up from past O'Neill heading back west basically all the way to downtown Baton Rouge. I am sorry if you're out in this mess right now trying to get back to Livingston Parish, trying to get home. You're going to have to have some patience today. There's also delays on 64 at Highway 16, as you come across what I like to call the fast food four-way. And, uh, and I'm sure somebody else has dubbed it that, not just me, uh, as well as some traffic on 190 heading into Denham Springs. Please head to our Facebook page if you can. Uh, uh, facebook.com backslash Livingston Parish News. David Gray caught up with the sheriffs at the Livingston Parish Sheriff's Office or the deputies um, who shaved their heads in support. Uh, you know, it, please go check out that video. It's, it's, it's a great video. It'll put a smile on your face. And, um, uh, you know, just a, kind of a happy feeling here on, a, on sort of a dismal day. Uh, so again, that's that's on the Facebook page. It's it's an interview with some of the sheriff's deputies who have uh, shaved their heads in solidarity with uh, one of their fellow deputies' wives who is battling uh, cancer. Uh, Assessor Jeff Taylor was named as a president of the Assessors Association of uh, Louisiana. Uh, he said it was an honor to be representing uh, the uh, the case. Uh, Taylor himself is active. Uh, at the Louisiana Legislature, so you can check that check that out www.lunsonparishnews.com backslash news. <laughs> Moving on, uh, Gravity Drainage District One has been doing the rounds. They have a five mil renewal coming up in the fall and October's uh, on October's ballot, and as well as some other things. So I'm sure they'll be hoping for some uh, some good turnout. Uh, some some statistics that were tossed out by Mr. Wesley Kennebrew, who is director of Gravity Drainage District 1. 102 miles of channel, 18% of the total ditches and canals in Livingston Parish. 53,350 residents, over 40% of the population. 25,560 homes, including 40-plus neighborhoods. 16 schools, educating over 8,000 students. 13 governmental buildings and almost 30,000 total structures. One of the things that Kennebrew did throw out is that he has 18 full-time employees, including himself, and nine seasonal workers to cover all of that territory, which extends from Amy Church Road in the north to Port Vincent in the south. One of the things that Kennebrew did throw out is that sometimes they may go inspect some drainage, and it's not bad at that time. That rain wasn't heavy enough. It didn't have the same amount of debris as it would when you, the citizen, look at it. 
Gravity Drainage District 1 is asking if you live in that area to please call them. Their number is 225-664-5827. Pictures, video, or just a vocal, hey, we've got some backup here. The drainage is not working. Here's my address. And they will come out there, inspect it, take a look. They have found all sorts of problems over the past over a year and a half since they've created this cooperative endeavor agreement with Denham Springs. Plus, they've just been working their own district, trying to clean uh, ditches, canals, uh, creeks. Grace Creek will also be widened uh, from Civic Road all the way up to Forest to Lat, and they will repra replace the bridge that crosses Grace Creek on Highway 1033. So be looking for those um, uh, for, for those projects coming up. Of course, uh, as mentioned, they have a 10 mil uh, property tax renewal, five mil, five mil property tax renewal coming up in the fall. It was five mils, one more time, five mils, so nobody misunderstand. Five mil tax renewal coming up in the fall of this year. Uh, next on the agenda, we, we had a story run over the weekend about the Livingston uh, or the Denham Springs Police Department. Uh, they received a letter uh, from a union, a national union representative by the name of uh, Chris Stewart. And I am uh, trying to find this story so that I can run you through it. So the police union has claimed that, uh, you know, for the most part, Landry uh, and his team, that would be Mayor Gerard Landry and his team, are not interested uh, in the police department uh, at, at Denham Springs. Uh, the, the union shipped the letter to uh, the um, city council as well as the mayor and, his and uh, you know, the town clerk all at the same time as well as uh, several media outlets. And uh, the subject of the letter is the relationship between the Denham Springs Police Department and the city. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of details in both the letter that was sent to Gerard Landry, the letter he responded with, and the, the facts that are mingled into the middle of it. The fact of the matter is the mayor and the city have decided they do not recognize the union. They speak to small groups or individual employees on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Uh, and he has expressed this to the police department. He, you know, the, the chief has, is in his office often, he says, uh, as well, you know, is very active in the uh, budgeting process. Uh, one thing of note that the letter mentioned was uh, an idea was brought up to help fund uh, more, uh, better pay and more officers uh, in the form of a hotel motel tax. That cannot be locally instituted the only uh, a body in Livingston Parish that currently has a hotel motel tax is the Livingston Parish Convention and Visitors Bureau. That's pretty standard for tourism departments, but it's done through the state. Um, so that would, that would be something that the mayor himself would not have much effect over anyway, and, uh, except if he just got behind it. And you would have probably get some kickback from the Convention and Visitors Bureau, but that's now that part's an opinion <laughs> on, on my part. But... Uh, something to keep an eye on as, as these two parties go back and forth. Uh, but in the end, it's a, it, it is a budgeting issue. Um, the, one of the comparisons uh, that's made in the story, which you can find www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash news. Uh, we are $5 a month online. It will be in print. The story will be in print this Thursday. One of the uh, And if you're paying $5 online and you can't stay logged in, please call our office, 225-665-5176, so we can help you stay logged in so you can read all this stuff. Uh, one of the things that was mentioned is is officer pay. Uh, uh, the Denham Springs Police Department did receive uh, a pay increase based on uh, uh, experience, uh, time time experience, you know, years of experience. Uh, that was given in uh, the early winter, late fall of 2018 uh, to help attract uh, more veteran members to the force. Currently, the police department has 37 uh, members, which are split between officers and civilian personnel to keep records, answer the phone, that sort of thing. Uh, and their salaries and payroll taxes and benefits, which includes retirement and health insurance, uh, is roughly 20% of the city's total budget uh, on a yearly basis. It's also uh, important to note, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, one of the complaints is uh, that health insurance 
at the city of Denham Springs, and this is true for all employees who participate in the city's health insurance program, uh, you have to pay for your family. The city pays for you. You pay. You have to pay full full ride for your family. Uh, places like Walker offer their police department uh, employees um, uh, match them on their on their family uh, being on the health insurance plan. Uh, but Walker has its has, has its own uh, set of issues. Um, so it, they also said that there was a, almost a 70% turnover in a four-year period, 2015, 16, 17, and 18. Uh, it was actually about 14% per year, which is about normal. Uh, and of the 21 officers who left, 13 did resign and, and leave and go to another department, but eight actually left law enforcement completely. So that, that number isn't exactly accurate. Um, uh, the story makes a comparison to, I say the story, I wrote the story. Uh, the story does make a comparison to Gonzales, which uh, has about 500 less people and is about geographically the same space as Denham Springs, uh, 500 less people in terms of top population. Their uh, police department does have 11 more people on it. Uh, now that is a few more civilians and a few more cops. Uh, the problem there is that uh, Gonzalez has nine more nine million more dollars in their budget than Denham Springs does, and a lot of that has to do with the concentration of uh, commercial business property inside Gonzalez as compared to Denham Springs. Denham's also taken a hit this year because uh, places like Albertsons haven't reopened, uh, and there are some businesses that just have not come back in the same way after the flood. Uh, so if you want to read all those dirty number details. Uh, www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash news uh, it's five dollars i hope i did not bore you <laughs> with all of that state farm partnered up with the library uh, they are going to be handing out uh, backpacks to students at uh, the denham springs walker branch library and i want to try to get a date for you on that one i went back too far please bear with me i am sorry about this I want to make sure I have the date right. I don't want anybody going on the wrong date here. Uh, that would be, drum roll please, Friday, July 26th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So again, Friday, July 26th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Dem Springs Walker Branch Library. If you need a backpack with school supplies, State Farm has partnered up with the library. If you're curious if there's any restrictions or anything, uh, we weren't able to get those details. Please call uh, the library. Uh, for sports, we've got two, uh, you know, rocket level basketball players here in the parish. Jalen Cook, who was committed to LSU, and uh, Dijon Flowers, Dijon A. Flowers, Dijon Flowers, I believe it's Dijon A. Flowers, uh, who plays for Live Oak. She, uh, she is a girl. Uh, you can go online, www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash sports and check out the sort of summer story of these two. Uh, whereas Jalen has committed to LSU, uh, Dijon is still looking for a place post high school. She does intend to play. She played for an AAU team in a lot of tournaments this summer. Uh, really neat story by William Weathers of, uh, of her journey uh, during the summer. So check that out again, www.lucyparishnews.com backslash sports. Last thing, the feel-good thing, it's Lazy Dogs time. Uh, we have gotten about 40 submissions. We are looking for your vote. Go to www.lucyparishnews.com backslash living, or you can find it on Facebook. We have, we have posted it where you can go check out the gallery and the poll. It's free. Go check it out. Uh, go look through some of these goofy dogs. Uh, some of them are cute, too. Uh, and, and give them, give them a, not a like and a share, but give them a vote on the poll. Uh, that poll will run through next week, and then we will uh, produce the winners as a feature. So, again, Lazy Dogs Voting is open, www.livingstonparishnews.com uh, backslash living. Uh, the gallery and poll are under that section. Again, your weather is uh, unfortunate at the moment. It is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. It is raining um, uh, heavier in some places, lighter in others, but it is bringing cooler temperatures around uh, around the bend. It'll be mid to high 80s in the next few days, but lows at night between mid mid 60s and 70s. Uh, we'll be looking forward to that. There will there is some predicted rain over the weekend. Traffic is uh, growing. Unfortunately, I am sorry uh, for those of you who are in it. Uh, 190 is now backed up roughly from. Uh, I guess that would be O'Neill 
back to airline intermittent uh, backups uh, I-12 heading eastbound is backed up from, I have to get my bearings here, is backed up from the Denham Springs exit basically to, about, to downtown. You're going to be sitting in it. Uh, 64 coming out of Central in the Livingston Parish showing some intermittent delays. Uh, we do appreciate you again joining us. My name is McHugh David, publisher and editor of the news. We're on social media. You might be watching us right now on Facebook. You may be listening to us later. If you are listening to us later, it's www.lewistonparishnews.com backslash podcast. We also push it out via Anchor FM to our, all of our uh, podcast area, uh, you know, everything but Apple Podcasts, basically. So wherever you get your podcast, we're probably there. We are welcoming Congressman Ralph Abraham. He won't be in the booth with me. He'll be calling in, but we'll be talking to him on Thursday. Uh, so be in, in tune for that. Also be looking for somebody else to be sitting in the seat tomorrow afternoon. Uh, it's, it's about time for me to uh, let him fly, let, let him give it a shot. Uh, again, we are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Check us out there. Uh, give us a subscribe on YouTube. It is subscribe. You don't have to pay anything. Uh, like, follow, whatever you will. Uh, we do appreciate our community support. Again, Q David checking out for this afternoon. We will see you in the morning.